Members of Congress from both sides of the aisle hosted North Texans at the Capitol tonight. Candace Sweat has a rundown of some of those familiar faces. From gun control to immigration to reproductive health, Congress members made sure to put faces to top issues. Good evening. Legislators from Texas strategically picked guests for the State of the Union address. Lancaster resident Carla Gates joined Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett nine months following the death of her husband, postal worker Eugene Gates. Something could be done. And thank God that I am being an advocate for my husband. I am not going to stop until something is done. And coming to Washington was the perfect opportunity. Gates died in June after collapsing on the job on a day when the heat index reached upwards of 110 degrees. He was one of Crockett's constituents. As a sitting member of Congress, I think that it is incumbent upon me to make sure that I keep his story alive and I continue to put pressure on an agency that I technically oversee. And it is wild to be in 2024 talking about trucks with air conditioning. For its part, the U.S. Post Postal Service responded to Crockett's demands for revisions, saying a fleet of air-conditioned trucks are headed to Texas. Republican Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne, also from Texas, brought guest Tom Homan, known for his calls for more aggressive immigration policies and Texas border security. 110,000 deaths that we've seen as a result of fentanyl that's coming in illegally over our borders. We have to address that. And I think communities across the country are feeling what's happening. U.S. Senate hopeful and fourth generation Texan Colin Allred was joined by Austin Denard, a Dallas based OBGYN who traveled out of state for an abortion after learning her fetus had a fatal birth defect. She talked about what she wanted to hear from the president. I hope that he comes out and, and talks about what an important issue it is and really what's at stake. Texas teen Daryl George also invited after becoming the center of controversy over his dreadlocks following Abbott's signing of the Crown Act. Texas was well represented in Washington as voters anticipate political discourse to heat up over the next several months. Candace Sweat, NBC5.